five, four, three. All right, and welcome to the CADCAST 15 year celebration. Yay! I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York, at my parents' place. And of course, we're joined by a man who's been doing this shit for 15 years, Wombat. Yay! I'm still trying to figure out how to get all this work. To You're work. trying to figure out how to get it to work. I know, right? I'm the worst. <laughs> well, they heard the they heard you count, uh, counting down, Wombat. Oh, excellent! That's so funny. It sounds like there's a problem with the countdown. Oh, well, so can everyone see me okay? Because I can't see everyone seeing me, so that's right. all I care about. Yes, we have to make sure. Let us know if everything sounds good in the chat. We can see you guys there. Welcome to the show, everybody. Uh, just to give you, oh, shipwreck is here, of course. Hello, shipwreck. Hello. I am here, of course. He's, he's trying to escape, but we, we've held him down for a little <laughs> bit. Um, yeah, so let me give you a little introduction about what to expect today. Uh, we have about an hour, or rather, we have exactly an hour. So I have certain things that I just want to talk about that are normal, like CADCast episode stuff. And, but also, we want to celebrate 15 years of CADCast. So I thought we would divide the show into half, like half a regular CADCast and half the 30-minute 15-year celebration featuring a special video made by Shanna Fan, which he's been working on since May, I believe. So, and we haven't seen it, so you're going to see our yep. reactions to it. Uh, it's probably to more than we've worked on this the whole 15 years we've done it. I would yeah. think, think that's true. Um, I would say that uh, I don't like listening to myself. Hold on, I have to tell Alexa to make it warmer in here. Alexa, set the temperature to 78 degrees. Thank I you. hope everybody likes 78 degrees. Yeah, day. it's a body. You know what? It's going to be like 90 <laughs> degrees in my house by the time this is over, so I get it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I to be honest, like people, when we do like try to, when we have reach various milestones, like I don't want to listen to myself too much. I Just enough to edit the show is basically all I can handle. Well, you don't so. have to edit a show this week. Right, so I'm really grateful to Shanna Fan for not only putting in the effort, but sparing me for having to to listen to myself more than I really want to. So thank you, Shanna Fan. That's a that's that's a really big load off, and also it takes a lot of the pressure off the show uh, of us because Shanna Fan's already. We know we've got like seven minutes covered already. That's from, true from Shanna Fan's video. Um, and hopefully this audio comes out good because I never recorded anything yet. So. <laughs> no, we're not recording. On, on I know. Just double checking. <laughs> yeah. Big thanks to Shanna fan. Um, I don't know if you guys have been following like the weather here on Long Island, but a lot of people are without power because of that last big storm. So my house hasn't had electricity since Tuesday. Um, so I'm doing this for my parents' house. And I realized that when, once I got realized yesterday that I didn't have any of this stuff on my laptop to do a broadcast. So, yeah, that was fun. But you know what? It gave me something to do. Well, I'm you're, not my I, I can't believe you're still without power. I can't believe how big it was. I can't believe I have power, which is also kind of a, a, amazing in itself. Right. So um, here we are. So yeah, they're still like you know the trees. Trees were just falling left and right on our block, and two houses on my street had trees on top of them. And yeah, it's now, not. It's, would Would Long Island Retro have had power? It's a good question. We went to order dinner from uh, a restaurant last night. And they had no power, and it was kind of a bummer. And that was actually someplace closer to RetroCon than my house. So <laughs> right. I like it that you cons you're consistent in getting the name of this this convention wrong. What I said, RetroCon. It's not called RetroCon. That's, that's not the name. Long at all. Island Retro Gaming Expo. Look, look behind right, you, Wombat. Right, that's it, right there, right on your shirt. You, you said Wombat? RetroCon first, and I just copied you. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> sure, you did. Blame shipwreck. When in doubt, just blame shipwreck. Nobody's I there. will. Um, so yeah, it was good. It's actually good that the show is coming up. It gave me something to focus on, other than the fact that we didn't, you know, I'm living up at my parents' house with my family. But it's actually it's pretty good. Could be a lot worse. Um, so yeah, we're going to be talking about a lot of interesting stuff today. We both played Avengers. Yes. And, oh, I can't wait to talk about it. I could, why is there no show feedback? Because there was three comments, and they were fine, but not show-worthy. 
I know. Uh, uh, you asked. I have honest answers. Don't blame me. <laughs> blame these guys. It's, you should have just gotten with it. it's a shorter show, so we don't have time. It's a shorter show, so we don't have time. No, I like blaming the listeners. It's more <laughs> fun and more that never true. backfires. Mm -hmm. They appreciate the the inclusion. Yes. Um, all right. Well, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. We can get it right into watch this bitches, which is yeah. I'm really excited to talk about. I this mean, movie. I know you really want to talk about this, so. <laughs> And we have I don't a even know what this is. What is this? So there's a movie on Netflix. It's called The Old Guard, and it's based on a Greg Rucka comic book. What? A Greg Rucka Rucka? Greg Rucka oh. is a comic book writer, a very established okay, I didn't and know experienced. That. He created Rene Montoya. is probably his most famous character. I loved him in Scarface. Uh-huh. And he, uh, he wrote the comic book The Old Guard, and he also wrote the screenplay for the movie, which is... Also interesting, and it's a movie about a group of immortals that fight bad guys. <laughs> They're really, it's really about a group of basically mercenaries, but they don't do it yes. for money. They're, they're, they're just professional soldiers, but they, they have a superpower that allows them to be, to live forever, basically. Mostly, yeah. more or less. It's a little Mo unclear. Basically forever. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I, by the way, I, you must know that I turned this movie off after an hour. So my review you is You didn't finish it? I couldn't, dude. I was very Oh, my God. I can't believe you didn't watch the end. I couldn't. Well, you could, there's, a, there's like there's an end let, Okay. that's and what? really awesome. Like it's awesome? End -end? Yeah. Let me tell you my problem with the movie. because Oh, I just, my goodness. Okay. I can't believe. No, well, no, no. Now I get to be mad at you. I get the point. I told you I only watched half of it. No, A, you did not. And second of all. <laughs> I spent my entire morning <laughs> watching this entire movie telling my son to leave the room because well, it wasn't appropriate for him, right. but that I had to watch it because okay. Cheapy asked me and said it was important <laughs> for the show that I watch this stupid-ass movie. Oh, wait, so you, no, you said you liked it. I did like it. doesn't mean it wasn't stupid. It was very stupid. I could not get over the stupidness of the movie. Why, what, it, why do you think it was stupid? I mean, it, it is, I think, at its core, a little <laughs> predictable and a little formal. No, no, that's not why it's stupid. Okay. It's a little comic booky, and I think that, the, I would say the twists you can kind of <laughs> see coming from, like, nine miles away. Fuck the twists. Okay. Shipwreck. Since you haven't seen the movie, you don't know anything about it. Then I, I, I honestly, I, I don't know. I'm so okay. curious to know what made you okay. get you, it off. You've both educated me everything I know about this so far. Okay. Shipwreck. You're, you're an immortal person. You can be again. We're can, talking about the old guard on Netflix. Okay, yeah. Okay, you're an immortal. You've you've been around for like three or four hundred years. Okay, ship. You okay. if you get shot, there's like a ninety five percent chance, ninety nine percent chance that you're going to come back to life unless you've been alive for like eight hundred years already or something. I think that's what happens. There. Actually, Charlize Theron has been alive for over two thousand. Okay, go on. So you've been around for like a ridiculous amount. Of time. Long time. Long, long time. Okay. What are you do, going to do with your life? Are you going to... I'll tell you what these guys decided to do with their lives. Okay. They, they've decided to shoot people, shoot bad guys with guns, and kill them with also stab them with swords as well. I, I mean, hold on, but hold you on. probably get bored after that's a while. That's like the so. whole pretense of the movie is that that's what they've decided to do. Yeah. And I will, I will tell you, I, this is why you should have just finished the movie. Yes. They actually explain why it's important that they do what they do. Okay, but I go on. Here's that's actually the, that's actually the one I would say sort of twist that I I heard about the twist. Coming. I heard about the twist. Someone I What had twist? To... What twist are you talking about? We're going to just spoil it. No, no, no let's not spoil it. This is brand new, right? Mild spoilers. Now, nah, it's been out for like 3 months. No, I, it hasn't. I don't I don't, <laughs> it's been I, can, one I don't care. What do I care? Listen, we don't not necessarily <laughs> spoil it, but if you don't want to know too much about it, just stop. But it's whatever. It's it's dumb. It's not even so but, much. Let me get to it's my not point. even that big a spoiler on the reason why they have to do what they do. Let me here's the problem that I have with the movie. And Shipwreck, you tell me if I'm stupid, and because Mrs. Cheapy had the same problem. These guys have been around for centuries. They seem, from what I can tell in the first hour of the movie, to have acquired in over those several centuries. Zero resources, except that's not true. Except for like a box of guns in a cave, and that's or, not true. And or a like deserted church, like a shitty ass rundown church. Not not really true. They don't seem to have any political power or wealth that 
Not at all. true. Not where, true. Where do you see they have any type of like connections or? It's, well, they, it, they, first of all, they don't have connections because if they had personal relationships, again, if you watch the whole movie. I watched movie, an hour. All I, know. I know. All I know is if I was and around, if let me you just tell watch you, the whole movie, everything I will go back and watch it, about, maybe. Depending on how long I have no power lines stuck here. Where you're supposed to see when you watch the first half of a movie, you watch and you're going, <laughs> why don't they have any connections? These answers, why don't they have any wealth? And then you watch like literally but, the second half of a movie where right, they build they up explain. to you asking these okay. questions. And that's when they answer them. I'm that's how movies work. I now, if you need me to draw you a diagram or like, like, a, like a, a tree chart on how movies work, I'll do that for you. I, movies. It'll say movies on the top. I and then would. underneath it says introduction to characters. The, then underneath the most it, useless thing you can do as a person, more or less, back. is shoot people. <laughs> so if you're like a super powerful person like that, been around for 100 years, I would just have people work for me who shoot people. And who cares if they die and don't come back to life? Fuck them. I'm going to be sitting in my castle. You know, I can, I can have like 10 castles, a million castles all over the world. No one's going to know who I am. I mean... It's ridiculous. It's like the most boring. Like take a cool concept of being immortal and break it down into shooting people. Is that wrong? And then we it's, can be done talking about it. Well, first of all, you're wrong in the sense that this is the pretense of the movie you're watching. I know. You're literally but watching a movie. It's about too dumb. I, it's like it's like vampire. It's like people. That's right. the hook. I get now, it. if you can't get past the log line. Then it's just not the movie for yeah. you. This I is just can't get this past the, the part that the movie's about immortals that with shoot no power, people. with no power except for they can come back to life, and the only thing they could think to do with it was to get take bullets. <laughs> and she has a and she has lots. They have lots of uh, money and artifacts. But they don't have any money because they live in. <laughs> they a, have lots of money and artifacts. You just didn't get to that part. They it's live in a cave. Right What's next on this list church? of things that I haven't seen. Cave. It's they just live in really a cave. funny that you're complaining about stuff. <laughs> they live they... in a cave. The cave had a box of guns, and that was it. A Tell box me about of guns Transformers in a cave. Thing. This Did Transformers you see this? thing. They, is it had it, it had an original Rodan statue. <laughs> you're right, and, that, and that's not even old. She was looking at this, and she's like. Is that supposed to impress that that guy's not even been around for that's like only like, you know, not that long ago. Like anybody could grab one of those. Anyway. Anyone can well, okay. grab an original uh, that's not Rodan what she said. statue? But she said like that's not impressive. No, no, because no, no, no. no. I want to un understand. Where do you buy those? Do you buy them you know at – it's just do like you buy them at uh, okay. um, uh, Pottery Barn? That, so the cave, the cave had a there? box of guns and a Rodan and that was it. No, uh, nothing. Uh -huh. Not even beds. Why well, have beds? Not that long ago. I dumb. like that. Okay. Transformers: War for I mean, Cybertron. Eighteen hundreds. Not that, that long ago. <laughs> I don't care about this movie. Let's move it's on. It's bad. It's very bad. It's and not bad. It, it actually, the end is really cool, and it it actually comes around and wraps up and answers all the questions. Like your That's big problem I mean. with the movie is solved in the last five minutes. Okay. That's not what I heard from other people. Well, whoever told you was wrong. <laughs> it was your mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Transformers: War for Cybertron is also on Netflix. Do you like How's G that? Do you like G One Transformers? I don't know. Do the I Transformers, do. if they're immortal, do they have money? They're what do they immortal. do with it? They're not, they're not immortal. Not. Transformers are not, and they don't have money because mm -hmm. they don't. You know, they don't. They they, they want to Energon. They don't care about any other exactly. kind of currency. Do they have connections? They're giant robots. Giant robots should they have do. connections. They do have connections. Okay. That's, that's how they get their power. They Great. plug in. I will say that it looks pretty good, and the character designs are really good, but the the dialogue gets really bad after what? the first episode is is pretty promising, and is then it? you're like, did they just say that? Because that's is it political. It, no, 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 no. What? What is it? It's on. Obviously, it's taking place on Cybertron during the war. Yes. Pre I've, pre them coming to Earth. Correct. This is at least the beginning. I've only watched three or four episodes. So they they're all transforming into weird space vehicles. I yeah, but there's a lot of them. There's not a lot of transforming going on in the first two or three episodes. I gotta say, you well, see, I mean, the, what, the jets transform, and Optimus yeah. Prime transforms into pretty pretty much the same thing that he would on Earth, and the other people just kind of walk around most of the time. What age is this for? Ten, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I got. I was really excited by the first episode, and then it just. 
this is the dialogue. They needed somebody to go through that dialogue and take out a few lines, maybe. But it's, it's worth watching just to see your childhood figures look good in 2020. Like, look up to date. They did a great job with that. And if that's all you need, you got it. I'll, that's I'll that's pretty much all I needed, to, really. To get a copy of it, and I'll, I'll check it out then. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to blow you away so far. I don't, at least from what I've seen, but it looks it's good. Not gonna make, it's not going to make me sign up for Netflix? Mm, no. It's <laughs> not very The old card will. What's the that? Old guard. The old card. The old card, The old card will, yes. Yeah. What yeah. about this next thing? Is this a Netflix thing? <laughs> Wombat. We're talking uh, to you, which Wombat. One? The, the Welcome to the show, back? Wombat! <laughs> Sorry. I thought you were still talking about Transformers. I'm like, what? The Go-Go's is on Showtime, so you can watch that. What the is Go -Go's it? The, the brand new Go-Go's documentary, all new footage, all new behind-the-scenes stuff from the early days. It's very interesting. Uh, they It's authorized, so they definitely skip over a lot of stuff. But they do get into all the heroin addiction and cocaine snorting and... Uh, all the fights and why they broke up and all the money and all that kind of Are, interesting dirt. Aren't all these stories the same to you at this point? <laughs> in many it's ways. the same damn story over yeah, and over It's again. always like the surprises are like, who knew that the guitarist was the who one who knew that, that the her heroin money? was going to cause this band to break up? <laughs> yeah. Right. It should have been fine. Everything just should have been it's fine. It's just what I thought was interesting. Like most of them were married, got married during their time in the Go-Go's. And at no point do they bring up spouses at all during the entire documentary, which I thought was kind of weird. Right. It, and some of them are still are married still to their happy, happily to those married? people. Yeah, some of them are still happily married to the same person, and at no point is that person brought up at all. They're it's not just, in the go goes. Yeah, huh? They're they're still around. <laughs> no, still the, the, men. The, <laughs> the men aren't in the go goes. Yeah, well, you know, nobody's looking for anything. Any yeah, but they're banging the, the go -Go's. go goes. That's even more. But they're banging the go goes. There's something interesting about that. Have you ever banged a go go? <laughs> you, do you want a documentary about the the guys banging the go goes? <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> What does Were a go 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 for? <laughs> the right. go goes. So did you like it? Is it good? I did. Yeah, okay. it's, of course it's he good. Likes it. He likes every one of these. I know. It's not I a cat cast. I like cast. every one of these. It's not a cat I like cast them. They make me happy. Like I'm sorry. I'm, I'm happy. I, I'm happy that you're happy. I'm glad it's that you like this, and I'm glad you liked the uh, the old guard. I think you need to finish up the old guard just if anything for the last. Uh, I the, will. When, the, when they when they finally catch the bad guy. It's to, it's oh, it's a I fun. Hate, I hate the 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 guy who runs the drug company. He looks mm -hmm. like Alfred E. Newman. I don't know uh -huh. how they even fought, how I found a human being who actually looks like the personification. You know of who Alfred that is, Newman. right? You saw the Harry Potter movies. Have you seen yeah, the Harry Potter that? movies? Who it's Harry that? Potter. <laughs> <laughs> you, you remember <laughs> the you know in the first movie how he lives with his aunt and uncle and his fat cousin? Yeah, is that the fat cousin? That's the fat cousin. Well, he's skinny. Yeah, now he looks he's like a skinny Alfred adult. E. Newman. Mm -hmm. Did you ever Horrible. see uh, the Ballad of Buster Scruggs? Yes. He's in that too. Who is he in that? He's the guy with no arms and no legs. Exactly. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, oh, here's a, here's a little message from Ad Shanafan. He wants to know if we, I can't read it because while well, I'm at clicking on it, any plans to watch Mulan on Disney Plus for $30? I don't. That's a lot of dollars. I haven't watched Aladdin and The Lion King yet, those remakes. So I don't know if I'm gonna go feet first with the Mulan one for thirty bucks. Right. Good idea. It's just a one-time watch for thirty bucks. How does that mm -hmm. work? You probably get it for twenty-four hours or something. I would say twenty-four to forty-eight. That would be my guess. I don't think they've said for sure. So all you can watch in twenty-four hours? Yeah, I can just go like whole ham. On yes. Mulan. You yeah. can go. You go <laughs> full tilt Mulan. Get a whole bunch of acid and just be like, it's Whoa. <laughs> it's expensive, but not at the same time. It's not grossly expensive. If you were going to take a family of four. Oh, you own movie. it. Shanna fan is saying that you own it on Disney plus for $30. That's the first I've heard that you own it. Me I too. Thought it I thought you, right. I don't want to question the guy who put all this work into our special video. How do you own things on Disney plus? I don't as know. As long as you subscribe thing. to Disney plus. That's, oh, Shana fans giving disinformation. Now he's, he I, only believes so. He's been busy I, working on that's that a video. Whole, that's a whole new venture for them then. Yes, but as, no, as, like, ship, as you were saying, for a family of four to go to the movie theater, it costs more than $30. So, Correct. For a family of three to go to a movie theater. It's still not the same, though. Like, It's not the same, but the ability to pause, go pee, and then come back is also quite tempting. Right. As I know from watching The Old Guard this morning and having had two cups of coffee while watching it. Right. 
In theory, mm-hmm. I depending on the movie, I would spend thirty dollars to watch it at home. This Black Widow, this, I would spend thirty dollars. This ain't it. This ain't it. This is actually still more expensive than me taking my family to the movies. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, we know about. <laughs> they need to adjust this for. <laughs> Yeah, they the, should, the right? The Ohio prices. They could totally do that because they, you know, they have your IP address. They could, they could have a scale. That would be fucked up, though. <laughs> <laughs> and then Amazon should do that when you buy toilet paper. Right. Speaking well, this of guy which, lives in Beverly Hills. That is speaking of which, today, um, I know you guys don't have Frishes, but that's that's the name of our big boys here. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh huh. Frishes big boys. So I I went there and I was I'm like, oh, I, I'm out. I need something to eat. I'm going to drive through uh, Frisch's Big Boy here and get myself a, a fish sandwich combo with a strawberry shake to, to treat myself. Um, and so I'm going through the drive through and on the drive through menu, they have a separate new menu, like like you do, like your seasonal menus. <laughs> and But this one was called the Frisch's Market. And on this market, there were things like Two rolls of toilet paper for a buck. Add-ons, <laughs> pandemic add-ons. Yeah, pandemic add-ons to my combo. For only a <laughs> dollar more, I could add on two rolls of toilet paper. Some hand sanitizer, a face mask perhaps? Those were there too, yes. The funny thing is, like, they were directly, this one's directly across the street from a Kroger. So I don't know if they're just, like, running across the street to the Kroger and just sending somebody over there to stock up on supplies. Right. But... I did not buy any Frisch's toilet paper. I was no. not prepared. Well, I'd already placed my order. We know your stuff. Is it now. actually Frisch's branded toilet paper? I don't know. It was too late. It was too late. I'd, I'd already placed my order. I was not expect. I was there for the combo. I was not expecting there to be a toilet paper option. Right. Ooh, look at Wombat chugging that water. Damn. That's sexy. Man, you, you're the envy of every president. <laughs> uh, One-handed. Did you see that? Very dexterous. Wait, wait. Uh, Let's, we got to top it off. We got to finish it off right, right? right. Yeah, I think yeah. we're up to new releases. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you crushed the bottle. I missed it. I heard it, though. Uh, new releases. Yeah, there's stuff coming out. Still. There's stuff that's out. out. This is, is it, out. Right. Out? Is it the fall out? out? Are we there? Yeah. Some of it? Well, this, you know, pandemic summer is like the fall, mm-hmm. <laughs> according to these uh, earnings well, reports. We got the fall guys. Mm-hmm. I played some of that. Oh, I have not. They were really. You guys trouble. haven't. You didn't even well, like try it, it. I played at E three. Well, I saw that they were having a lot of server trouble, and they I thought, were. I don't, I don't need to have add. frustration <laughs> and add to the server problem. I got in. I got lucky on. I think it was Friday night. I played like an hour because uh, it's. I mean, let's see. How do I explain this game in a way that makes sense? A, a picture of battle royale, game show themed. Where you're a human jelly bean, <laughs> right? And you have to, and you, and it's like a wipeout style Gangbeans. obstacle course, and you got to get from one end to the other. Yes, and, and there's different yeah. modes as, as well. But yeah, yeah, there's not all of them are like that, but the majority of them are like you got to run through an obstacle course. It's actually similar in many ways. If you've ever, if neither, well, Cheapy may have seen Roblox more than I played once it at E3. Life. Don't you remember? Ship, I won. That, no, we we both played this. He was asking about Roblox. Have you ever played Roblox? The no. kids game, like Minecraft. Yes, the kids game. No, I watched Ty play it. And they okay. Said no. Yeah, there, in Roblox, there are these things called obbies, and obbies are very similar to the what? basic it's, gameplay. This is, of, uh, but this is like quality. You're explaining this to like forty-year-old men. You're, you're comparing. You're pulling out Roblox comparisons. I here. know. That's because I don't think any of these forty-year-old men have ever seen Roblox before. I think they've seen Fall Guys, probably though. It's very popular. I know. If you let me finish my <laughs> sentence, I'm saying that I was surprised how much Fall Guys is like Roblox. And oh, okay, and sure. That's where I was. I'm surprised that Fall Guys is so much like Roblox because most of the Roblox games are essentially Fall Guys, just without that game show battle royale element where you're just kind of doing it alone. But it's like the same game. And it was sort of weird to me. And I'm wondering if that, if there, you know, might have been some sort of like someone played it or they saw their kid playing it and like, this is so janky. If someone actually took the time to polish it and make it look nice, they'd have a real game on their hands. And that's what Fall Guys is. 
Yeah, I mean, I had I had a lot of fun playing it at E3. I was the champion. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I got a, I got a free crown to take home with me. And I will. Uh, I'll probably buy this game. You got a review code of this one, man? No, it's on. P it's, oh my god, you guys! It's on both PlayStation. Suck. It was a PlayStation Plus game. Oh wow! You all. You already own it, right. dude. Just I haven't had electricity it. since Tuesday. Uh, you have no excuse not, not to on do top anything of ever. Fix the trees. Fix the waters. <clears throat> buy some rocks. Get to work. Did you hear what I just said, Wombat? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to repeat it? Don't repeat it. Okay. I've been playing a Game Pass game. What? what game? I, I beat a Game Pass game, The Tourist. Really? How yes. is it? Yes. It's, it's good-ish. Good-ish? <laughs> <laughs> it's so... Have you guys seen this game at all? It's a... I oh, downloaded it, but I didn't play okay. it. Okay. So it's a uh, 3D voxel, like, uh, platformer adventure game. So you, you kind of look like a voxel version of what the River City Ransom people would look like if they were voxels. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like, I started playing it. I'm like, oh, this... I, I went into it knowing absolutely nothing. I'm like, oh, this looks like a cute island game. We play those exclusively at this household. Um so I fired it up. I'm playing playing it. Emmeline and Dashiell are watching me. It's it's age appropriate. It's fine. Um, having a good time. You, you go around. You talk to people. They give you little quests like, "Hey, go find me this." And you got it's got little puzzles built into like the overworld. You go to different islands and everything. Um, but it's got this weird overlying story, like where there's this mystery you're uncovering. It's nothing too in depth, but. Um, you go and you go to these monuments and you go inside and you solve the the puzzle and there's like some alien stuff going on. The very cute, very charming. Then it hits these like difficulty spikes that are just completely absurd. Um, I posted some stuff on, on Twitter about it, but there is some like serious like depth perception type <laughs> issues with this, with this game uh, and things that like, you're going to die probably 20, 25 times attempting some of the platforming I stuff. I love that. It's yeah, like it's like why why did you do this? Like this is a a good like game. And I don't I don't hate the platforming stuff. It's just like you're going to turn off so many people when they get to this these stupid balls that you have to jump on <laughs> that are just floating around. Um but I I hope they make another one. It was it's about 6 hours to finish depending on how many times you die, I guess. You should you should at least try it, Wombat. I will. I guess I'm gonna download it. Tourist, I just right? gotta Tourist huh? with a Y is Tourist with a Y. I just gotta get to it. You know. You know cool. how it is. Uh what else? I was I was gonna have my like Gretchen play it, and then I got to those parts and I'm like, she she does not want to play this. <laughs> she's gonna yell at me if I make her play this. Yeah, she's gonna yell at me when she gets to this stuff. Um It's got a good version of Arkanoid built into it though. If nice. you like some old school Arkanoid. Who does it? Um what else did, did come out? I don't think anything. Burger Fairy Tale. Burger Fairy Time. Tale came out. You're an anime guy, GP. But I don't know what that is. I'm not first of all, I'm not an anime guy. Let's, let's go on record. I don't know. Let someone usually someone that has a dubs not subs tattoo <laughs> on their butt is a uh... I am a believer in in subs not dubs. However, I do not have any tattoos. I'm th I'm a dubs not subs guy. Right. I I think you're the anime expert on the show though. That's not saying much. And How's I'm learning, fairy tale? How's the game? I don't know tale? anything about. I couldn't tell you. Is it about a cat like a with wings, perhaps? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it That's sounds more interesting than what breasts, it's probably about. Incredibly large breasts. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say large breasts. Uh, what else? Anything else? I'm I'm scrolling through here. I I'm not seeing a great deal. Okay, else. good because we got other shit to talk about. I was gonna say there's plenty to talk about. Yeah, let's uh let's move on to. Oh, I don't have the right. What's the name of your new section, Wombat? I forgot. Ah, uh, white what, what white <laughs> white knight white men can't white, white bite, wombat wombats <laughs> fortnightly news. <sighs> And okay. there is Fortnite news. There is. It's all combined. Yeah. It's all. Yeah. yeah. The big Fortnite news is they added cars. Right. <laughs> they added cars. That is big news. Yeah. 
You could drive a car now in Fortnite on the map. Are they real, real, uh, real world cars? No, licensed? no, they're not licensed real world they cars. They're be. fake video game <laughs> they cars. They will be. <laughs> Just you wait to get that be- new Dodge Ram truck. I'm honestly surprised it's not in there. It will be. They're working yeah, on it. Yeah, and they commercialize everything. You know what? I don't care. Of course they because, have to. Why yeah, I'm the winner. I'm still the winner in that. I get to drive a Dodge Ram. How right. do I lose? And Ram people, literally. That's what you do. You run people over in your right. car. That's right in the name. Yeah. It's fun. The cars, so they add a nice little element to it. All right. Should yeah. we talk about Avengers? Marvel's uh, Avengers? Not those yeah. other Avengers. You were sent to beta code. Well, there's two pieces of news. First, I think we should talk about the Spider-Man exclusivity. Okay, we'll we're going to do that, then we'll talk about our impressions? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Wombat. This is your, I feel like, your area. Okay, so after last week and how much I said I was looking forward to the game, two days later they announced that Spider-Man is going to be exclusive to the PlayStation versions of the game. That's PS4 slash PS5 with a free upgrade if you buy it on the PS4. Things that are worth noting. Um, that's sort of a bummer. Uh, I know I know Shipwreck's point of view on this is actually going to surprise a lot of people, so maybe I'll, I'll save that for him to say. I think so. I think it's going to be a surprise. I think it's pretty in step with me, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of people are like, well, we, you know, there's obviously two sides to this argument. Some people are like, this sucks. I want to get this game on the Xbox or my PC. I would like Spider-Man. I feel like they're withholding content. I don't want to sit, pay the same price and get less content than PlayStation users are getting. That's a load of BS. Uh, PlayStation fans are like, well, if Sony wants to spend the money to have exclusivity, that's Sony's business. What can you do? Deal with it. And then their sunglasses fall down. (laughs) (laughs) Shipwreck, I think your your view is... You could I'm say trying Alan's. to th- what what is my view is I it's so far out in the future that I don't care and I'm not going to be playing this game when yes hits it. your is view, view is that by the time Spider Man comes out you'll have moved on and this game will be old news so why how when do we think Spider Man's coming out on this he's not I, coming out until 2021 they said that yeah 20 okay well that you know that that could be is January or December I mean. Mm-hmm. Hey. Either way, <laughs> I think they said. I think, I think they're trying for Q1 2021. I sure, think they said it's is, is March. This mm-hmm. <laughs> when, when Spider Man enters the mix. Yeah, right. could be March. I. Right. It's it's really hard for me to get that upset about this because. I think everything I, else I'm seeing about the game makes it clear that it's. Going to be more of an investment than I'm willing to make for the game, as far as time. Like, I just see all of the cosmetics and, like, it wasn't even the Spider-Man exclusivity thing that, like, turned me off at all. Like, I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. If I'm Sony, yeah, I'm going to pay to have them develop a Spider-Man for this game. It was the next announcement where it was like, and here's all these skins you get for doing these things or all this. I It was like this chart of stuff. And I'm like, oh, I'm kind of done already. Like, Well, each, we, <laughs> we can get it because I, I, I played right. the beta. Uh, uh, on Friday and today, I played a little more. Yeah, let's talk about I, that. Yeah, I had to get those whole cans for Fortnite. They were kind enough to send a code to Cheapy, and since Cheapy had no electricity, he sent the code over to me, and I got to play it on Friday. And then this afternoon, they sent a code to me, which I sent back to Cheapy, so he could play it this afternoon after he picked up his PlayStation 4 from his house <laughs> to bring to his parents' house. By the way, I was I did not go to the house to pick up the PlayStation. I know. I'm just saying. But, I, but I had to pick up the clamp for this microphone, <laughs> which I forgot. But it's nice how it all worked out. It Yes. Entire, yeah. yeah. And we, we already played through the tutorial. Excellent. So here are my thoughts. I have a lot. Well, uh, we don't have that much time. So I know. It's, it's mixed, so I'll be quick about it. I think the tutorial missions yes. that are designed to show off how each character does their special skills yeah. and is tailored for the character, I think that works really well. But when you throw any Avengers character in one of those missions where you could use anyone you want, it kind of loses some flair because it's a little generic. Because those missions need to be generic because you need to be able to use a character that could literally do anything. So it's not, it's not like the tutorial where clearly there are like 
Certain Hulk part. missions. Yeah. Right. You don't switch between characters at any point. It's also sort of, this is something that I would be nice if you could do, because I played it alone with three AI characters. It'd be nice if you could switch to the different characters oh, wow, yeah. while you're playing the game, like Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Like, like you Lego. Do. You want a Lego game is what it sounds like. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. <laughs> does, so it kind of, that would be amazing. Could you, you, yeah. you would be right at home at my house. Yeah. It, it, it would be nice if you could, well, cause it, but they're there. It's like I'm playing as Black Widow and I could see the Hulk next to me. It'd be nice if I could push left on the D-pad and just move into the Hulk who's standing next to me fighting guys in the same room that I'm fighting guys. It's not like, He's back home on the helicarrier eating a bag of chips watching me on TV. Yeah. So it would make it would make sense. Also, the gear seems completely pointless. Like I picked up I it says I picked up a lot of gear. I don't know what it does. I don't know what the advantages of it are. It is there's no cosmetic difference to you at all. Oh. I understand they want you to buy skins that's because they want you to buy the skins oh that's, i know why uh, i didn't i didn't say i don't know why they right that's back it. to my point of like i saw that stuff and i went uh, I, don't I didn't know. realize that oh i actually told the tie a lie then i was like oh yeah you find like iron man's helmet and then he looks different yeah oh. you do yeah, once no you, once you insert the dollars into the machine right yeah right. no you find, you find you do find <laughs> right. you find like helmet upgrades You've upgraded your helmet. Now you do 10 more HP or something. I don't know. Who could tell? It would be because the game would be so cool. Could you imagine if it was like that and everyone's Iron Man was unique looking because you had a <laughs> helmet? Tie, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Those no, no, the no, words no, no. I used. I know. And it would be better. I My example yeah. was because I could, it would be like if you had a Hulk that had like a Mr. Fix It hat and a maestro body and purple pants, and that would be a weird looking Hulk. But it would be your weird looking Hulk. But no, that's not in the game. You find like, oh, now your Hulk has a spine upgrade. You know, <laughs> the spine upgrades that the Hulk <laughs> is always finding. The Hulk, he's gotta, he's gotta add more gamma to vertebrae. his spine. <laughs> he found some extra vertebrae, and now he's really got good posture. He's got that spine stuff going on, <laughs> and it's it's sort of a shame because the game isn't bad. It looks it's, great. It looks good. It's fun. It's fun. I like the idea of, you know, the uh, each character has its own, like, season pass style progression chart where you unlock different things if you use the character enough, which I don't hate. Those are free, at least. <laughs> you, you're, you're just constantly unselling me on this game. I didn't I'm say it. I, I, huh? I've, I've got it pre-ordered. I've got that GCU right, it's locked sold. in. Yeah. yeah, it's already sold. You'll, you'll, buy, you'll play it. You won't hate it. I just think... It's missing. It's missing the spark. It's missing the, the. Hey, I say this a lot about some games. It's missing the love. You know, it's right. just like there's there's the secret ingredient that's missing from the Avengers game right now. Because I did the you know to do the the. To it's the, coming in March of next year, I think. Okay, when you do the Fortnite to do the Fortnite stuff, you have to do the three Danger Room missions, and the three Danger Room missions are all the same thing fight 10 waves of bad guys isn't danger. the danger room an x-men thing yeah they call it something else they call it the harm oh, okay. room like, but it's the danger room it's the danger room okay. from x-men but they put it on the helicarrier and <laughs> and you're fighting it's like fight 10 10 waves of enemies okay i did that then i'm like oh what's the second mission gonna be in the harm room i bet it'll be something fun and unique fight 10 waves of enemies i'm like okay well that was just the first two they won't fool me on the third mission the third mission in the harm room is going to be something fun, unique, and different. And I, and I go to do it so I can get my Hulk hands, and they're like, fight 10 waves of enemies. Yes. Yeah, I'm like, oh. At least oh. it wasn't 20. Ex yeah, exactly. At least, it, at least it wasn't 20. So, and it, the combat's good. The characters control well. I actually may like Black Widow the best, which is surprising to me. It's just of the four characters that are in the game, Ms. Marvel, Black Widow, Hulk, and Iron right. Man. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's fine so far. I think it has needs a little bit of a little bit of polish. It'd be nice again if the gear in a game that's supposed to be loot based, but the loot doesn't really seem to do anything. It's sort of a bummer. Like you're just gonna go in there, you hit the hold down the L two button to optimize to your best gear you go in you hit the button you go out you're not going to be 
and menus trying to figure out what your best loadout is. Yeah, once that because, spine is locked and loaded, you just yeah, exactly. Right the door you gotta get that Hulk spine locked and loaded because you don't care. You literally don't care. Right. But that's like their big hook. That's like the Destiny hook. Do this raid to get the rare piece of gear. But when gear has no mental value to the player, why are you going to do these raids? Right. All right. So well, they need to, to kind get of your fear- Fortnite gear. They just right. have to keep that going. Well, I mean, you know, it's, you know, but and also that's why it works in Destiny. You know, in Destiny, you want to do the raid because you want to get that helmet that has the giant frill on top because every because you wear that giant frill helmet, and everyone knows you did this, that raid. Well, if they could just look at your spine, if they have an X-ray machine, they'll know that you did the raid. You got that <laughs> platinum spine. Yeah, exactly. Seriously. All right. Nice we spine. Did you do the raid? We only have about 20 minutes left, so I think we should okay. start the CAGCAST 15-year yeah, celebration video. part of the show, which uh, we're going to kick off with this special video that Shanna Fan made. Uh, big thanks to Shanna Fan for doing this. I mean, for so many reasons, but uh, and also for running the, the YouTube channel and putting all the episodes and the clips in there. I mean, Shanna Fan's investing a lot of time. Big thanks to Shanna Fan. Now, bear with me while we switch over to this because, uh, yeah. Okay, so hold on. We're going to share the screen. We're going to share the media player. Then we're going to switch to this, and here we are. Okay. Good. Oh, I, I love safety cones. Okay, How did Shanna Fan know? Are you ready for the video? I am, I am ready to play it. We have not seen this video. We've only seen the first five seconds of the video for testing purposes. This is the world premiere, even to us. You're going to watch the whole thing, right? Going to watch the whole thing this time for the first time. Hopefully it works. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Hello, my name is CheapyD, and you may know me from CheapAssGamer.com or the CADCast video game podcast, or you may not know me from the hole in the wall. Today I'm bringing you a special German and Japan report. Oxygen in a can. And this just arrived from Amazon Japan. And now we are going to open it up and see what it is. Do you know what it is? What is it? A game. A game. You're right. It is a game. And I figured I'd take this chance to do a little video review of sorts of a new game called Treasure World. <laughs> it's for the DS. It's from uh, our friends at Aspire. My very own Six Burger Grilling George Foreman Grill. Knocking out the fat in high definition. About to go play some rock band and check out all the DLC that's come out for this game so far. Should be a good time. That guy. Why don't you join me? I promise not to sing. You we'll probably want to turn it on first, but I'm just gonna turn it on through the uh <laughs> maybe I'm not. I forgot what it's happening. Every one of my videos just so as awkward as Turn that. it on first. Then wrap it with the dow. Thank you for the, the t-shirt, Jay-Z. Say hello to Beyonce for me, <laughs> and thank you for pointing at my crotch. Right. <laughs> there you go. Pretty sweet. Stay out of trouble. Oh, nice All shirt. Right, well, here we are. We're wrapping things up here at the Advanced War launch here at the Nintendo World <laughs> Store. Well, that's odd scenes of great. I got my free hat. It's great. I'm going home. He's great at those. Yep. Wow. Oh my god. This is gonna be too much. Oh. And hello to you too, Shipwreck. Yeah, I'm gonna say hi to you. Unlike those hosts of that podcast, I don't even give you a proper introduction. Man, for real though. Congratulations on a thousand years of GadCast. <laughs> however long it's been. You guys don't look a day over 65. I don't know how you do it. Stay so young. Here's to a thousand years of more poop jokes, fart jokes, finding out what's in the random stuff and boxes of crap, wombat orders, and getting everybody's hot takes. Here's to another 400 episodes of Marvel movies being pretty good. (laughs) Fine. What is it, Stuart? It's fine. (laughs) Many more hot takes on all things gaming and everything else in between. Love you guys. Thanks, hey, Thanks. It's oh. Ben Gilbert, your old pal, the video game journalist. Wow. Congratulations on 15 years. Oh my gosh, you've been doing it for 15 years. 
So like 10 years ago, I don't know if I've told this story to you before, but you guys went to E3, and before you went to E3, it was 2008, you were talking about it on the show, and it was an invite-only year, it was a like, very small, it was a weird year in Los Angeles, Santa Monica. and you talked about the wave you got for the show, and I fully copied you guys before I was a journalist or had sweet press access. This is the Nyko. I just stole your idea and used the same way, and right. that's how I went to my first ever E3, <laughs> where I got this super sweet Nuka-Cola that <laughs> yes. uh, was for Fallout 3. <laughs> wow. Remember that game, Fallout 3? There's been like, I don't know, 75 Fallout games or something since then. Anyway, congratulations on 15 years, and thank you so much for helping me actually get involved in covering video games by uh, talking about it publicly. Wow. Hey everybody, Jimmy Mack here. Wow. I just want to say congratulations to GPD and the rest of the crew over there at the CADCast doing 15 <laughs> years. We'll never say one. 15 years of this show, it's don't a long time. Word. You've seen uh, Netflix used to mail out DVDs, a million a day. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire was in the theaters. That's how long ago 15 years was. Wedding Crashers was in the theater. My God, and here you all, y'all lasted it all. I wish you another 15 years, but God help us if we're listening to this <laughs> old headed man talk about video games that far into the future. Who am I kidding? We'll all be dead by then anyhow. Holy moly, cheap ass gamers and cheap ass gamer fans. Tell wow. me how to do a cheap ass gamer podcast for 15 years. That is amazing. We've got to sing a song. Happy anniversary to you. Happy wow. anniversary to you. Happy 15 years to the cheap ass gamer podcast. Happy anniversary oh. to you. I've been all your best. days are filled with chocolate rain some <laughs> stay dry and others feel the pain or they just stay dry that you're not feeling as much pain that y'all are continuing to win in 2020 2021 all of the years beyond so have the very very great so happiest of anniversaries <laughs> some cheap ass gamer fans congratulations and good luck wow <laughs> bread's done okay guys it's cheapy and that was amazing ah! it was this is very unnecessarily generous of you. Oh, that apartment! I don't know how to react properly <laughs> because it is a very nice, you should very do, nice experience. You should do the Nintendo Kid uh, screen. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Hey guys, it's GBD from CheapAssGamer.com <laughs> and the CadCast video game podcast. Why won't you leave me? I'm delicious! Try like five, five, five. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Power Rangers. Rangers! Oh yeah. The latest version of this game I think I had was from the 1970s. Oh my god, you look so, so young, Chip. Oh my god. I want that. Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yeah, same. Pretty much the same. <laughs> Pretty much the same. <laughs> Why don't you get on camera and thank everybody for watching. You're not thank you, everybody, for watching. Okay, see you soon. Why don't you push the stop button? Wow. <laughs> Really old and dressed up friends <laughs> here at Toys R Us. I found Devastator. Hi there. How you doing? And I found one that five seven seven. Oh, I'm just here for the children. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Hello. Sorry. My name is. I have it on loop. That was fucking awesome, Shannon. That was Hold great. On. Let great. me switch back. Give me a second, cause uh, I'm, I got to do this slow. That was amazing. Hold on. Stand by. Okay, we're back. Oh my God. I'm like. Uh, my eyes are tearing. I'm not crying, but I'm like tears from laughter. That was just. Yeah. That was great. That was unbelievable. It was great. Yep. That was good. I had forgotten how much you were there for the children. <laughs> that was I good. Didn't. Oh, that's a great video. <laughs> I didn't forget that. As soon as I saw it, I was I know very Krista excited. hasn't forgotten that either. I don't think she'll ever forgive me for that. <laughs> it was the funniest thing that I've ever seen on Xbox Live, pretty much. That's I mean. Really? Uh, me? Knowing to say something funny? I think I'm pretty good at that. You did a good job. 15 years. Yeah. 
That was pretty awesome. Oh my god! Thank you so much, Jonathan. That's just like, that's unbelievable. I mean, you know, first of all, I can't believe that Tayson Day. I know he's a big fan of the show. That he was able to take time out of his schedule. <laughs> how much does Shana fan? How much do I owe you for that ta- that cameo? Oh, he doesn't take real money. He gets paid in chocolate rain. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was just that was unbelievable. Yep. I was, you know, what I wanted to do. I had like, I had like some more plans for this show before the power went off on Tuesday. And one of the things I was going to do is put together sort of a slideshow of our like sort of our really old emails that we sent to each other, like our okay. first our first correspondence. I wasn't able to like find the first first correspondence, but I found some. Is really- this going to be like embarrassing and I'm going to hate it? No, because I don't I didn't. I'm just going to talk. I just have a, I have a trivia question for you based on. Oh, OK, OK. No, okay. I don't. Do it's like it's kind of boring. The stuff we sent to each other. We were like we were we were making Google documents about how we could pitch the show and get sponsors. Basically, that's what most of the correspondence was there. Sure. Like, and I noticed that we spelled sponsor wrong in like nice. the documents. So Wombat, let me ask. Here's a trivia question for you. How sure. many months? Okay, you paying attention, Wombat? I'm paying attention. I'm to, looking okay. at the outline. I'm sorry. Okay. Outline's here. You were here. Yeah, okay. Outline. So how long did it take for us to put out our first episode of the Carecast since our first bit of correspondence? I'm going to say it two weeks. <laughs> Almost a year, ten months. No. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You wore him down over a year. The, the first, the first email I could find from you was like a mm-hmm. Gmail invitation in October of twenty of two thousand and four, and we didn't do our first show until August. Wow. Of, of so wait, so I've known you since two thousand and four. Yep. That's crazy. Yep. Yep. And I was I was surprised. I was like, what were we doing for 10 months? Just like, and the first show was like five minutes or something like that. You would think that we were friends, but we know that that's not true because I listened to episode 200. <laughs> We've rectified that situation. <laughs> since Why would you bring that up on our 15 year celebration? I don't know. Because, uh, you know, because um, family lives for pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah, we're not friends, Wombat. We're family. I, huh? I stand by yeah. that statement. I know. We're like, you're Vin Diesel, right. and I'm the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> the dead guy? Who drew yeah, a... I guess. And shipwrecks Jordana Brewster. Right. Did you guys have any, like, I mean, I've been thinking about my fam- my favorite CAGCast slash E3 moments. Did you guys have, I have one to talk about. If you guys. You go one. first, you then. You go, yeah. Okay. And I was just telling this to CAG. I was to CAG. <laughs> Imagine if I named Ty CAG. That would have been pretty weird. That would have been fantastic. I was telling this to Ty <laughs> yesterday. My favorite, my favorite cheap ass gamer CAG slash CAG ass experiences. You know, when we would go to E3, people would often laugh when they would hear the name cheap ass gamer. Shipwreck can appreciate that. Wombat has probably experienced that a couple of times in the, mm-hmm. in the few times that he was able to go. And my favorite time where that happened was one of the years we were able to get an appointment with Nintendo. Shipwreck was able to get an appointment with Nintendo. And it was very difficult to get, it's always difficult to get an appointment with Nintendo for us. It would usually only happen once every like four years, maybe we're able to get one, right? Accurate? Yeah, it's, that's that's right. So we show up, we show up at our appointment and for whatever reason this year, Nintendo has hired all models to staff their, the check-in area. Every It's a bunch of tables with models sitting at every table. And the, we walk up to this beautiful woman and she says, oh, who are you with? And Shipwreck says, oh, cheap-ass gamer. And I don't know if she literally rolled her eyes, but she was just like, oh, like, oh, you guys like scammed. She didn't say it, but every her every every ounce of, every vibe she was throwing off was like, oh, you guys live in your parents' basement and just scammed your way in here, and I'm just wasting my time by even checking in. Is that accurate, Shipwreck? That, that's more or less. Right. She, she was... Uh... Not impressed, I would say. <laughs> Not impressed, right? So she's to, checking to us. be showing us uh, steel, whatever that, that, that submarine came. Steel on. diver, yes. steel diver, steel diver. Yes. Yeah. 
And, you know, whatever. Like, it's just every, all the women working there were super hot. You know, it's in L.A., super hot chicks. And, you know, you want to, you know, I want to feel like a loser. Like, I felt that way enough. I don't need to feel that at E3. I was just there for Steel Diver. <laughs> right. So she's checking us in, and we're, we're basically done, and we're about to leave. And this guy walks up to us, and he goes, GPD. Oh, my God, you're shipwreck. I'm your biggest fan. He just starts like, it was our biggest fan, basically. Whoever our biggest fan is, it was him. And he just starts gushing and going off. Like, I can't believe I made you. This made my whole show. I love your show. I've been listening to you for years. And the woman's right there. And she's just like, I think she thought she was getting punked. Because the look on her face was like, like what, what's happening right I now? I can't believe I have to blow these guys to get ahead. <laughs> <laughs> And I was I was never so grateful for for a fan to come up to us. I mean that was that's pretty much my favorite. That's one of my top favorite E3 stories. And the best part of that is that it goes the other way too. Like just as likely if something that that is that happened, it like you can get bumped from a meeting because you know Major Nelson happened to show up. So it goes it's two ways. Spielberg. Street. We still haven't. Yeah, Steven Spielberg, Spielberg bumped bumped. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. It's part part of the game. You guys have any? Special. I mean, you know, I still have very fond memories of that party at the Golden Gopher. Right. That was sort of insane. That was that you was a lot of fun. You didn't see the we bill. Were, I no, I didn't. That's why I enjoyed it. <laughs> GPS memories of that too. Yeah, like what the uh, fuck? Was I that also thinking? remember when Shipwreck and I threw a party at the uh, David Buster's on Long Island. Yep. Oh, well, yeah. Chibi was still in Japan. Those, oh, wow. those pictures still show up on like my uh, yeah. my Alexa and everything. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> that was a great time. We had it fun. It was. It was fun. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like hanging out with you guys. Yeah, right. my wife was pregnant with Sabrina. <laughs> That's yeah. how long ago that was. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I want to. We're sort of near the end, so I want to make sure that we thank certain people before the show cuts us off, because that's how this works. We're all on a timer, and then we go from there. So I definitely want to thank a lot of people. First of all, I have to thank Wombat for coming up with the idea of doing the Kayakast. Emailing me all those years ago, pretending like he was some hot shit super agent that was going to make all my dreams come true. I got you further than most agents would. You got that any agent that I've ever talked to because I haven't talked to any agents. But so thank you Wombat and everybody all the listeners should thank you because without Wombat taking the made initiative. It all happened Wombat. Yes. Also, so thank you Wombat and listeners should all be bowing to Wombat. Shipwreck, of course, have to thank you doing CAG foreplay for, I don't know, how long did you do CAG foreplay for? Long, longer than I think. <laughs> Too long is the answer? Long I, enough. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I think it was at least three years. I'm not sure. Right. Three, it, four years? Right. Who, who could it say? Was, that was great. And, you know. We're not divorced. We're not, we're not divorced. And we did it the appropriate amount of time. <laughs> Uh, I want to thank I want to thank Whipsmart Banky. By the way, I'm killing myself because I should I forgot to send Whipsmart Banky a ticket to this show, and that's an oversight. So I apologize, <laughs> Whipsmart Banky. But thank you so much for all the artwork you've done for not just the Catcast, but for uh, you know cheap ass gamer as well. He's just like never says no to anything. He's just just amazing and talented as well. Of course, Shanna fan. I don't have time to thank you anymore, Shanna fan. We thank you enough. Thank you so much for, for everything that you do for us. Super Programmer John for working on the website, helping us with the, with the CADcast uh, technical side of things when, it, when that needs to be done. Big thanks to you, John. I think all three of us need to thank our wives for allowing us to spend a couple of hours. Well, Sean, Wombat says thumbs down. <laughs> but without our wives letting us spend a couple of hours each week to do this, then there's no show. And I will I will thank her in the appropriate way after this show. With your mouth. Hey, that's gross. Anyway, pizza. I was going to say a, your pizza, your famous pizza that you could make. I don't make pizza. Oh. Uh, our parents, you want do we want to thank our parents for uh, I don't make pizza for my parents either. Are, are they listening? I don't know. That's it for <laughs> getting us on with technology. Uh, hold on. Our game journalist fans, everybody in the video, especially the old school game journalists who worked for Joystick, Kotaku, and Destructoid, who really like would help us out by posting articles with us and stuff like that. 
our game industry friends, like Major Nelson has always been really nice to us over the years. And who else? Any other game industry? Well, everyone who, the people in that video, like Ben Gilbert. Who, yes, all those people. Yeah, of course. All those, I said, all the people from Joystick Otaku. Uh, I think uh, even the, the PR firms that take us seriously enough to send us stuff. Of I want to thank them. Of course, I want to thank. I was gonna say, let's thank our longtime sponsors, yeah. guys like Harry's and HelloFresh. Yep. And and I'm sure some that I'm missing, Mac Weldon. Yep. Our our uh, podcast host that, Libsyn for bringing us the sponsors, and of course the listeners for all these years you've stuck with us, even though this is ridiculous and there's no reason. Listeners whose <laughs> whose names I know and addresses I know and who's who who I know as much about you guys as you guys know about me, which is kind of amazing. You are my friends. You're not just listeners. And I love that about all of you. Thank you for this amazing 15 years. Honestly, it's a gift. Yes. I, that was beautifully said, Wombat. I don't know when the show is going to shut us off, but I think who could say it better than you, Wombat, to end us? Breadstone? <laughs>